we're asked to simplify or to expand 7x plus 10 to the second power. Now, the first thing I will show you is exactly what you should not do. What, well, there's a huge temptation. A lot of people will look and say, oh, that's 7x squared plus 10 squared. This is wrong. And I'll write it in caps. This is wrong. What your brain is doing is thinking, oh, if I had 7x times 10 and I squared that, this would be 7x squared times 10 squared. We aren't multiplying here. We're adding 7x to 10. So you can't just square each of these terms. I just wanted to highlight, this is completely this is completely wrong. And to see why it's wrong, you have to just remind yourself that 7x plus 10 squared, this is the exact same thing as 7x plus 10 times 7x plus 10. That's what it means to square something. You're multiplying, by, you're multiplying it by itself, I guess, uh, twice here. If you only did it once, you'd only have one 7x plus 10. So this is what it is. So we're really just multiplying a binomial or two binomials. They just happen to be the same one. And you could use FOIL. You could use the distributive method. But this is actually a special case when you're squaring a binomial. So let's just think about it as a special case first, and we can apply whatever we learn to this. And we could have just done it straight here, but I want to learn the general case so you can apply it to any problem that you might see. So if I have a plus b squared, we already realized that's not a squared plus b squared. That is a plus b times a plus b. And now we can use the distributive property. We can distribute this a plus b times this a, so we get we get a times a plus b, and then we could distribute the a plus b times this b, plus b times a plus b. And then we distribute this a, we get a squared plus ab, plus b times a is another ab, and I'm just sw swapping the order so it's the same as this, plus b times b, which is b squared. These are the same, or these are like terms, so we can add them. One of something plus another of that something will give you two of that something, 2ab. We have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So the pattern here, the pattern here, if I have a plus b squared, it's equal to a squared plus 2 times the product of these numbers plus b squared. So over here, I have 7x plus 10 squared. So this is going to be equal to 7x squared. 7x squared plus 2 times the product of 7x and 10, 2 times 7x times 10, plus 10 squared. So the difference between the right answer and the wrong answer is that you have this middle term here that you, prob you might have forgotten about if you did it this way. And this comes out when you're multiplying all of the different combinations of the terms here. And if we simplify this, if we simplify it, 7x squared, that's 7 squared times x squared. So 7 squared is 49 times x squared. When you multiply this part out, 2 times 7 times 10, that's 14 times 10, which is 140. And then we have our x, no other x there. And then plus 10 squared, so plus 100. And we are done.